Hello everybody, welcome back to the ASUS ROG YouTube page. We've got another Q&A. This one's based on, once again, questions that we asked you guys prior to the 900 chipset AMD launch. Essentially, we asked you what would you guys be most interested in checking out on the brand new 900 series based motherboards. One of these requested items was USB 3 performance. So we're going to take a look at USB 3 performance as we have it set up here on our test platform. So for comparative purposes, essentially what we're going to be doing is taking a high speed USB 3 device we have it attached to USB 2, then we're going to be attaching it to our NEC um, USB 3 add-in controller card, U3S6, and then we're going to be adding it to the actual AS Media USB 3 controller, which is present on our 99, excuse me, 900 series-based AMD motherboards. And we're going to take a look at the performance and the benefits of moving over from USB 2 to USB 3, and to see the performance uh, changes, if there might be any, between the, the NEC chip and the AS Media chip. So. Uh, as far as our quick breakdown here on our test bed system, as always, we've got our Dematec ROG Edition test bed. We have our Crosshair 5 Formula 990FX motherboard. We've got Corsair's P Series SSD. We have a Corsair AX850 watt gold PSU. We have a GTX 570 Direct CU2 graphics card with our SAP Power Technology. We have uh, four DIMMs of Corsair Dominator GT memory and we have a Corsair H60 closed loop water cooling system to go ahead and keep our hex core 1055T CPU nice and cold. So let's go ahead and jump over onto the desktop and take a look and see what our performance is. Now this first set of benchmarks you're going to see correlate to the high speed uh, excuse me the high speed SSD uh, connected to USB 2. So it's going to pack out excuse me peak out at the max throughput of what USB 2 offers, which is generally going to be uh, somewhere in the vicinity of about 30 to sometimes as much as even 37 megabytes. Um, it's just going to vary on a couple of different factors such as the flash or the storage device that you have connected to the USB 2 port, um, as well as the, the number of channels that are accessible internally on the controller uh, for that actual storage device. Um, altogether though, the majority of USB 2 devices such as the common flash drives that are on the market are actually fairly slow. Most of them are usually only going to be maybe about uh, 10 megabytes read and about 10 megabytes write, and they get the job done for basic files, but definitely as you start to move over to larger files, especially stuff from high resolution cameras, um, HD video, large uh, file backups, um, anything along those lines, you're definitely going to start to tax the USB 2 interface and, the, and the, the time frame it can take to copy files can be considerably longer. So as we can see here, we've gone ahead and run ADA, AS, SSD benchmark, and ADO as far as our three parameters. And overall, we have pretty consistent results. We can see that in ADA here, it's gone ahead and peaked out at about 33 megabytes in terms of your performance. Same thing, uh, in the AS SSD benchmark, we can see here, write performance peaked out at about 31 megabytes and read performance peaked out at about 33. And in ADO, we got about the same as well. Read peaked out at about 34 megabytes and then the write peaked out at about 34 megabytes. So essentially, we are writing it right to the rails in terms of the maximum speed that USB 2 offered us. Now, I've gone ahead and included this copy benchmark that's included as part of AS SSD. Um, the main reason being is that it gives us a little bit more kind of contextual information. It shows us copy performance for a couple of different items. One in ISO, which is a, a format of a disk in terms of uh, an entire ISO image, a program, and a game. And we can see here that uh, this is the actual amount of data transferred and the duration in terms of the time frame that it took to transfer the data. So we have 65 seconds, 94 seconds, and uh, 85 seconds. So we're going to go ahead and see how these numbers compare to NEC's USB 3 performance utilizing the same USB 3 controller and flash device that we have currently connected to the USB 2. So let's go ahead and run these benchmarks and we'll get back to you in a second. All right, everybody, we're back. We've gone ahead and finished the first initial results from our U3 S6 uh, NEC-based add-in card. Now, keep in mind that these actual results are going to be probably a little bit higher than what you would normally see on the normal NEC controller when it's connected directly on a motherboard. The main reason being is that the card that we're utilizing actually goes directly into a by 4 PCIe slot. So it has more bandwidth than a normal USB 3 controller generally has attached to it, where most USB 3 controllers generally only have a by one interconnect. So you're definitely still going to see a significant performance increase that's available to you when utilizing USB 3, but it's going to be a little bit more so than what you would normally see on most motherboards. So right here we can go ahead and take a look and see the USB 3 performance represented once again in ADA. AS SSD benchmark and in ADO. 
And right off the bat, even without bringing up the USB 2 results, we can see a considerable jump up. Where in ADA, previously we were seeing pretty much a peak at about 33 megabytes. We're now seeing a huge increase in performance. Where if we take a look here in our linear read, at the beginning, it was starting off at 188 megabytes and capping out essentially all the way up to about 212 megabytes at the end. And with the random read, hitting all the way up to 218 megabytes. So a, a massive just increase in the overall throughput, the, the bandwidth that's offered. When we move over to uh, AS SSD benchmark, we see similar results in terms of really high level of performance. Write performance was improved from about 30 megabytes to now almost 120 megabytes. Okay, And with read speed, we also had a significant increase from about 30 to 33 megabytes to almost 190 megabytes. So just huge increases. And lastly, we can also take a look here on the copy, copy benchmark. We, if we go ahead and compare this, here was our result on USB 2 with the actual speed in terms of the, the throughput for the ISO test itself being 16.44 megabytes and the duration taking 65 seconds approximately, and here us jumping up considerably to 80 megabytes and the duration only being 13 seconds. So a significant amount of time saved uh, if you were looking at maybe uh, an ISO actually being installed on the system. Same thing for program installation or maybe program launching. You can see that we had significantly higher uh, throughput on USB 3 as compared to USB 2. So a big shave down overall, pretty much across the board any which way you look at it. And for Addo, for those of you that just wanted to reference that, same thing, previously where we saw a cap at about uh, 34 and 34, we're now seeing write performance at about 182 megabytes, and we're seeing read performance at 207 megabytes. So huge increase overall in performance, jumping over from USB 2 to USB 3. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do one more uh, test, and we're gonna include the AS Media USB 3 controllers logic and see how that performs overall in terms of the USB 3 performance we can expect on our 900 series motherboards. All right, everybody, we're back with the last series of benchmarks. We've gone ahead and connected our high speed SSD uh, via our USB 3 adapter to our AS Media USB 3 controller. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the performance. Now, once again, in comparison to USB 2, which we definitely know it's going to be significantly faster, but also see if there's that kind of any little relative differences uh, between the AS Media and the NEC. In ASUS's own internal testing, we've generally found that the AS Media controller uh, can actually pretty consistently offer better performance in read and write. Of course, this is going to vary depending on the devices that you actually are utilizing connecting to the USB 3 port. as some USB 3 devices are going to be considerably slower uh, than others. You know, some might only have maybe a minimum read and write speed of about uh, 50 to 60 megabytes, uh, while others might be in excess of, you know, 150 for both the read and the write. So it really will vary. Um, keeping that in mind, we've gone ahead and gone with a really, really fast SSD, and we have that connected to the AS Media Controller, same one that we did on USB 2 and on AC. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results. So we're going to go ahead and first take a look at the, here on the left we have the ADA benchmark, and we can already see that these initial numbers are actually higher than our NEC controllers uh, numbers. So if we go ahead and put NEC here to the right, and we make a comparison, and we can go ahead and look at the, the one megabyte here, we can see that the linear read begin was just a smidge faster, 190 versus 188. Uh, for the middle, it was 217 versus 212, and for the end, it was 217 versus 212. And in the random, we saw a nice little bump up as well, 229 versus 218, and the buffered also being 212 versus 208. So in that uh, situation, the AS Media across the board was actually a faster controller. So not only was it giving us faster read and write performance, but it also does offer some additional benefits, such as a special um, advanced charging mode, that if you go ahead and have um, as such devices as like a tablet or a phone or digital music players, things like that, you can go ahead and connect it to this port, enable an option within our AI Suite 2 program to enable fast USB 3 charging. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what the peak performance as well was over here in Addo. And let's see here, and if we take a comparison to the NEC once again, NEC peaked out at 182 megabytes for the write, and for the read, 207 megabytes. Now we're going to go ahead and move all the way here to the right, and we can see that the write performance was 213 megabytes. So actually that's quite a bit. Uh, we almost have 40 megabytes 
um, excuse me, almost uh, 30 megabytes of improvement on the write performance from the NEC over to the AS Media. And for read, we jumped over from 207 megabytes to 214 megabytes. So once again, a consistent improvement. And overall, our AS SSD benchmark gave us about uh, similar results where we consistently saw overall the AS Media controller pulling out in front. And USB 2.0, there's no real point in terms of uh, including that here in a comparison as across the board, pretty much it, uh, it beat it out. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of a preview in terms of the performance expectations you can have going from USB 2 over to USB 3. And in addition to that, what's the performance level that you're going to see on AS Media's USB 3 controller, which is featured on our 900 series product line. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, or anything else you'd like to see, make sure to drop us a comment on the YouTube page. Please subscribe. And in addition to that, if you have any other commentary that you want to see or you're looking for more information, head over to asusrog.com forward slash forums.